Hi, I'm Beth, part of the Greenhouse Crew here at Volante Farms. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about plants that clean the air. In 1989, NASA published a study about the effects of plants on air cleaning. The study was conducted under tightly controlled conditions, a very small room, hermetically sealed, that was jam-packed with plants. In the average home or office, with good airflow, light, and far fewer plants, the effects will really be much less. However, since every little bit helps, we might as well take a shot at it. One of the first plants is a spider plant. This is a small version. Mature versions are typically used as hanging plants. They like bright, indirect light and can be dried out between waterings. They produce tiny little plants on the ends of their stems. These are called spiderettes. When the spiderette is large enough, it can be potted up into another pot and you'll have a second plant for yourself. The second plant to consider is pothos. It's a trailing plant. It likes bright indirect light and really shouldn't be allowed to dry out too, too much. The only drawback to pothos is that it can be considered toxic to children and pets. Next, we enter the very large family of philodendrons. There are many varieties. The small heart leaf shaped one, which is a trailing plant, will tolerate low light levels. The larger, more interesting and complicated ones, such as these two, like brighter light. Don't let them dry out between waterings. And again, sadly, they can be considered toxic to pets and humans. Next up is a plant called the aglaonema. It's also known as a Chinese evergreen. The plants that have silver or green leaves can tolerate low levels of light. The aglaonemas containing red in their leaves need more of a medium bright light. You can allow these plants to dry out thoroughly between waterings. Finally, we come to Dracaenas. Dracaena is a very large family of plants comes in many shapes, sizes, and colorations. Most of them have spear-shaped leaves. They like medium bright light as a rule. Some of them can tolerate lower light levels, but best not to try it. And they like to be consistently moist. Do not let these plants dry out on a regular basis. They will become very unhappy for you. And lastly, as beautiful as these darlings are, they are also considered toxic to pets and humans. So that's the brief overview of plants that filter the air according to NASA.